this is my real Sonic X. Okay, so in this episode, a lot of things start to reach their uh, their ending arc. So it ends with so mainly it's focused on um get on um Gamma and and Amy's story and how and how that concludes. But it also it also focuses somewhat on Sonic's story as well and how his story winds up concluding. So it starts off so it starts off with Chris with the final Chaos Emerald and figuring it and him trying to chase after Knuckles and figure out how he's supposed to actually get the Chaos Emerald back to Knuckles and concludes that he that the most likely situation is that he goes back to goes back to where the X tornado was parked which is kind of dumb since he kind of left it behind in his when he left um and concludes that the most fastest way to get to Knuckles would be to take the X tornado and plans to go back there um meanwhile meanwhile Tails is getting endless praise for his uh heroics and is even going to be receiving a medal of honor for his bravery um, and everybody and Nate, and everybody is impressed by the fact that Tails is getting is getting so much attention, um, but are also didn't know that Tails' real name was Miles Prower, so they're actually so they're actually per, and they're actually pretty surprised to learn that. Um, but but everybody concludes that Tails just kind of fits him better, and Tails just kind of likes using the name Tails, so it's it's fine. Um, but in case he has to go to his to his um to his medal of honor to his honor ceremony but the problem is that there's now is that because he's kind of famous now there's a lot of pap paparazzi hanging around Thorndike Manor and Ella has a conclusion um she decides to she decides to sneak out um tails in under her dress while um while M Mr. Sonaka pretends to be a baby in a baby carriage and uh it works because they check the baby carriage but don't check Ella's dress and T Tails is able to get to his thing no problem, um, and even thanks them and even thanks them for their help, point and pointing out that Mr. Tanaka makes a pretty good baby. And yeah, it's it's, it's a funny little gag, but surprisingly enough, Mr. Tanaka is just really happy to do it. I, I don't know. Um, but in case, but in case, um, Doctor, but in case, um, in the in any instance, um. Gamma has actually decided to um, st rethink what he what his um, goals are, and after mulling over his master designation, which is Doctor Eggman, and after mulling over all of his friends, he just he concludes to stop following Doctor Eggman simply because Eggman is not his friend, and decides to help hit to help his fellow robot his fellow um, E series robots by freeing them of their an by relieving them of their animals and deleting their programming. And basically, just deleting their master designation so that their animals can go through free and they can be and they can be saved, which isn't how it works in the game. But uh, I, I do like that this is that they actually do resolve what they, they do actually resolve Gamma's issues in the game. Um, in any case, he goes off to find the, to use his tracking systems to go find the other E series robots. Um, meanwhile, and, meanwhile, Sonic, and also during this, Sonic conclude is unable to, winds up in the front of a petrified temple with a tree on top, and he sees the call spirit, and follows it inside, and follows it inside, um, while unaware that there are a bunch of Chow inside, and he follows it to, he follows it to a mural of perfect chaos, um, and isn't entirely sure what it is he's seeing, um, at which point he starts seeing a vision from the past about how Angel Island was destroyed. So it's Sonic's first time seeing these visions. But basically, but basically what happens is he sees a he finally sees a vision of the of um of how Angel Island was destroyed by Pachamak and how and how to call pleaded to the to the Master Emerald to protect her and and stop them. And we and that's all we see. But but in any case, Sonic is warped outside the built the um, main building. And realizes that he most likely saw something, but isn't entirely sure what he saw. But as he works that through, he sees Dr. Eggman head off to, an, to a secret base nearby and follows him. And, storm, and be, proceeds to storm the base. Um, he breaks in. He's, um, Dr. Eggman uses his security mechanisms. He uses Mainly he uses laser, ca laser cannons and a conveyor belt that's designed to keep Sonic in place so that he can flatten Sonic with a giant rock. 
Both of which fail, and Sonic is able to successfully get inside the, bu the building, pointing out that he's just too fast for Eggman. Um, at which point he runs face first into Bakun, and Eggman orders Bakun to lead Sonic to the lowest chamber so that they can have one final battle. And Eggman points out that he's that he basically he vents to Sonic about how Sonic always ruins his plans and that he's not going to stand for it anymore and pulls out his Egg Viper, which was a boss featured in Sonic Adventure, and I don't think any ever again after that, but he but in any case Sonic and the Egg Viper begin to face off and Sonic Sonic lands a hit on the egg on the Egg Viper after the Egg Viper shoots at him, at which point the Egg Viper temporarily retreats before coming back up under the ground and crushing him underneath its tail. Um, but despite this, Sonic is able to destroy its tail and duck and defeat the Egg Viper, at which point so Dr. Eggman ejects from it and uses it and floats and floats away, pointing out that he'll get his revenge next time and escapes in his little egg carrier thing. Um, meanwhile, meanwhile, um, and meanwhile, and these are both these are both happening at the same time since they since they kind of both wind up wind up in the same location. But um, stop. But in any case, Amy is upset about the fact that she can't actually find um Lily's sisters, brother and sister, and conclude and conclude that they're most likely on the A carrier, but they don't know where it is. At which point, um, Big the Cat shows up because reasons and introduces himself himself and Froggy to Amy. And points her in the direction of the egg carrier, which crashed nearby. And she thanks him for for his help and goes on her merry way. Um, meanwhile, Doctor. Meanwhile, um, uh, Gamma has successfully de deleted both both um Delta and Epsilon's um data on Doctor Eggman and have successfully released their animals. And but he has no idea where Beta is. And after mulling it over and giving it some thought, he concludes that Beta is most likely still on the egg carrier given what he know that he knows that um beta was heavily modified so with that he goes back to the egg carrier and you can see where this happens the two plots start to start to converge um so so amy so amy boards the egg carrier unaware that gamma is on his way there as well um and get and they two and the two don't have any ex extended interactions until the end of their arcs but Basically, Gamma is looking. Gamma is looking for Beta, and and proceed and trolls through the egg carrier looking for him. Meanwhile, um, Amy comes to the egg carrier looking for Lily and um, looking for Lily's um brother and sister. And she eventually runs into Deco, Boko, and Zero, who begin to discuss, who start discussing rather humorous, humorously about how they wound up on the egg carrier, despite no, uh, there not being really any real reason for them to be there. And at which point they spot a they spot Amy and and six zero after her, her and she and they eventually chase her into the basically the main con, the main control room where she learns that um Lily's brother and sister are actually abor are actually inside of Beta and Gamma respectively so she so she and she quickly realizes she needs to find Gamma before before something bad happens to him and as as fate would have it Gamma is already on the egg carrier. And he runs, and while he's looking for Beta, he actually runs into Zeta, a robot from the a, real, a robot that usually fills um Gamma Beta's role in the story, but because but because they decided to change it to make it to make it so that um so that Gamma and Beta have a more have a more brotherly bond, I guess you could put it. Um, Zeta just kind of got regula regulated, um, delegated to being a stationary turret. Which is which is its final fate in the game, but it's but it's basically they never explain in the game in the anime why Zeta is a is a turret, whereas it's whereas in the games it's explained that because of um because because it it failed Doctor Eggman and got turned into a stationary turret instead, and and though we, and we never actually see the fight between Zeta between Zeta and um a Gamma, but Gamma is successfully able to turn it off. At which point, Beta reveals itself in its modified form, E101 Kai, which which proceeds to attack which proceeds to attack Beta. Um, Amy, who is on the egg carrier, naturally hears the naturally hears this information and runs off to defeat the to check out the source um, and proceed and proceeds to defeat Zero in the process and ha and immediately sees the two fighting and urges them to stop fighting, pointing out because she knows full well that if they're not careful, that if the two aren't careful, they will accidentally wind up killing the animals inside. 
But the two, but the two are, are of course engaged in the battle and eventually do defeat each other. Um, get, um, get Beta collapses first and explodes, which free, which successfully frees um Lily's brother, and get ends Gamma having it its its primary objective now complete collapses as well and so, and it also self destructs, which frees um Lily's sister. And the three birds and the three birds happily reunited take off, while Amy stays behind briefly to mourn on Gamma's passing. I guess you could call it. It's he didn't he didn't exactly die. He he was a robot. He wasn't technically alive to begin with. But she she does mourn him because she what he was indeed her friend, and it's and is sad that about him passing because he did so much for her and. And Lily, and she never got a chance to fully repay the favor, and is a bit sad that she, that she's never going to see him again. But in but in any case, she mourns him and then eventually leaves. Um. Meanwhile, after ta meanwhile tail meanwhile tails after um successfully um going to his meet to his thing and getting and getting his medal of honor, um actually pick goes to goes and finds the extern the externado, which is what they were planning, which is what he was planning to do. Um, after the meeting, anyway, and and brings and brings the Externator around to to pick up Sonic, and the two and the two have a reunion, and Tails and Sonic catch up, and Tails explains what he's been up to. Um, at which point Sonic, re at which point they realize that it's about to rain, and they retreat and they retreat. Um, so um, meanwhile, Eggman, who is still very much, who is still very much um, bitter embittered by the fact that he was defeated by Sonic yet again, um. Continues to think of another way to defeat him, but is attacked by Chaos for obvious reasons. He promised Chaos all seven of the Chaos Emeralds. That didn't happen, and Chaos is pretty pissed at him, so he turns on him. So yeah, that's how the episode ends. With so Chaos is still very much around, and he and he is eventually going to go after the Chaos Emeralds again and get them back. So yeah, that's going to be a thing that they're going to open up next episode. But basically. Basically, all of the, everything, the only loose ends now is the fact that, um, you know, the chaos is still a thing and they have to figure out how to, def how to defeat chaos and stop it from destroying the world. Because that, that's implied to be a thing that's about to happen and they do need to do that. They do need to do that at some point. They do need to address the perfect chaos part of the, of the story. But for the time being, everybody is in a happy-ish ending. They just need to figure out what, they just need to figure out how to stop chaos, which they don't know is a, th is still a threat. So, in any case, yeah, that's my review of Sonic X. What did you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out, and you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm always saying thanks. So, be sure to check those out in the description below as well. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys! in the next video. Peace!